Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a lens review of the Canon 400mm f5.6 prime lens. And I'm going to start right now. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is James and if it is the very first time to this channel and you want to learn all about Photoshop, Lightroom and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So in this video guys we're going to be looking at the Canon 400mm f5.6 prime lens. Now this is one of the older prime lenses on the market, especially if you're looking at the Cano ecosystem. This particular lens here dates back to 1993. So do the optics and build quality of this lens compare to the lenses that are coming out in 2020? And also is it worth a spot in your camera bag? Now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this review down into five separate parts to really work out if this very lens is worth a spot in your camera bag or or is it worth staying away from older lenses just like this one? So without further ado, let's get started. So just before I start talking about the build quality of this lens, I just wanted to talk about the lens accessories you get inside the box. So with this lens, you get a lens bag, a front and rear lens cap with a non-removable lens hood. Also included in the box is a removable lens collar. The lens bag is a waterproof padded shoulder bag with a belt strap. This lens bag is similar build quality to other lens bags that come with other lenses, such as the Canon 70-200mm or the Canon 100-400mm. I also really like the design of the non-removable lens hood. It is super handy to have a non-removable lens hood as you will never forget it or leave it at location. This lens also has a removable lens collar, which is great if you're planning on wanting to use this lens either on a tripod or on a monopod. I must say, I was incredibly happy with the build quality of all of the accessories, especially the lens bag, as this lens is quite large and having a bag that comes with the lens is handy, especially if you want to bring it on location. So the first thing I want to talk about is the build quality of this lens. Now because of the age of this lens coming in at May 1993, the build quality is not as good as current new L lenses. The lens is made out of a premium aluminium construction which really does reduce the weight down of this lens, especially if you compare it to other zoom and prime lenses with similar focal distance. The only downside to this lens is it does not have weather sealing, which could be an issue, especially if you're planning on taking this lens out in a wet or dusty environment. The lens also has the older style lens button design that Canon used to use. This button design is quite small and it's difficult to find without looking. But overall, I was really impressed with the build quality and lightweight design of this lens. And for the average photographer, the lack of weather sealing won't necessarily be an issue. Although if you are after weather sealing, you could always buy a waterproof lens cover. These covers are quite inexpensive and handy when you're out in a wet or windy weather. So for that reason, I'm going to be giving this lens an eight out of 10 as I was really impressed with the build quality. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the image quality of this lens. And this is where this lens really does shine compared to other lenses with similar focal distance and age. So this lens is a 400mm f5.6 prime lens, meaning this lens does not zoom and it has a fixed minimum aperture of f5.6. Now f5.6 is actually quite a small aperture and it doesn't necessarily let a lot of light in. This can be bad, especially in low light situations, or if you're more after an out of focus background or bokeh. But because of this lens offers a 400 millimeter focal distance, you can use the compression of this lens to create this out of focus background, forcing the subject away from the background or let the background fall away, creating a nice smooth background or bokeh. Although I did sometimes find this lens did struggle to render complicated objects such as trees and bushes in an attractive way. 
So Canon have designed two 400mm lenses. They've got the 400mm f4 and they've got the 400mm 2.8. These are new lenses. And then obviously you've got the 5.6 we've, we've got here. Now, Canon have designed the 2.8 version, but it is unbelievably expensive, coming in at £12,199, way out of budget for most photographers. So this lens is more budget orientated 400mm prime. And with the aperture of f5.6, this let doesn't necessarily let a lot of light in, but it is better than some of the zoom lenses out there, such as the Sigma 150 to 600mm, at 400 millimeters, the f-stop is at 6.3, which again really does show you the advantages of having prime lenses over zoom lenses. Now, because of there's less glass in a prime lens, these lenses are often a lot lighter and there's less problems with chromatic aberration and color fringing. Only containing seven elements in six groups, making this lens unbelievably sharp. At 400 millimeters, wide open at f5.6, this is by far one of the sharpest lenses I have tested. Coupled with the amazing ultrasonic motor, this lens creates amazing photos, especially if you're trying to take photos of moving subjects. This lens is great for any professional sport or wildlife photographer. The only downside to this lens is it does not have image stabilization, which is a big problem at 400 millimeters. I would not recommend this lens if you are a beginner photographer. Getting sharp images with this lens is quite difficult, but not impossible. You will have to shoot at quite a high shutter speed to get the sharpness that you're after, especially if you're not relying on the modern day image stabilization. But if you do get sharp images, you will be absolutely blown away by the resolution and detail. I must say, I love this lens for its sharpness and for the colors it can create. So for that reason, I'm going to be giving this lens a 10 out of 10. But do bear that in mind that you're going to need a lot of practice to get sharp images, as this lens is quite difficult to photograph and not recommended for any beginner photographer. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the size and weight of this lens. And again, this is where a prime lens really does pull out a big advantage over its zoom lens counterparts. Because it's got fewer glass elements within a prime lens versus a zoom lens, these lenses are traditionally lighter, coming in at just 1,050 grams or 2.76 pounds in the US, almost 400 grams lighter compared to the Canon EF 100 to 400 mil f 4.5 to 5.6. This lens also has quite a small girth compared to the 100 to 400 mil lens, although this lens is slightly longer when it is fully compacted down. This lens also has a filter thread of 77 millimeters, which is actually identical to the 100 to 400 mil lens. So if you already own that lens and you're wanting to buy a prime lens, all of your filters will fit with this new lens. A quite a large filter thread will set you back a lot of money though. Having smaller filter threads often allow for cheaper polarizers and UVs. So do bear that in mind. So overall, I was incredibly impressed by the size and weight of this lens. And as this lens comes with a camera bag, it is actually quite portable compared to other zoom lenses that don't come with bags. So for that reason, I'm going to be giving this lens a 7 out of 10 for size and weight. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the focus motor and image stabilization. So this lens is part of the L series, Canon's flagship lineup with the L glass. So because of this, this lens boasts an impressive ultrasonic motor. This motor is incredibly quick to focus, even in low light, and it is quite precise. And because of this lens has full time manual focusing, you can also use the manual focus window to help you dial in what you're photographing. The only real downside to this lens, again, is it doesn't offer image stabilization, which can be a real issue when you're fully zoomed out at 400 millimeters. If you're a beginner photographer, you might struggle creating sharp images with this lens, so it is not recommended. I would recommend the Canon 100 to 400 mm lens, as this offers a lot more image stabilization when it comes to creating sharp images, especially at low light. 
but with the speed of the focus motor, I would rather choose the 400mm prime lens over the zoom lens any day. So for that reason, I'm going to be giving this lens 8 out of 10 for focus motor and image stabilisation. And last but most importantly is the price. Now because of the age of this lens, you're going to struggle to find a brand new one on the market. Most of the lenses that you'll find will probably be second hand. Now because of this, the prices of these lenses can vary depending on grade and quality. The one I'm using today is a second hand lens from Wex Photo Video Milton Keynes. They lent it to me for this review. Now this lens is currently on sale for £724. So this lens offers great value for money, especially if you compare it to other lenses, such as the brand new Canon EF 100-400mm f5-6.3. to This lens comes in at £2,200, a saving of almost £1,500 if you do buy the prime lens over the zoom lens. This lens is also a great saving if you compare it to other 400mm prime lenses on the market. Canon currently have two on sale, the 400mm f4 image stabilised coming in at £6,599 or the 400mm 2.8 IS Mark III coming in at a whopping £12,129. Both of these lenses are amazing but they are way out of budget for most photographers, making this 5.6 400mm prime lens great value for money. So for that reason, I'm going to be giving this lens a 10 out of 10 for price. Brilliant, and there we go guys. So that is my lens review of the Canon EF 400mm f5.6 prime lens. And I must say, I was absolutely astonished by the sharpness of the photos. Although it does take a little bit of getting used to, to use this lens because again, it is without image stabilization. And that's just due to the age of this lens as this lens is from 1993. But if you have got the budget for this lens, this lens is definitely worth a spot in your camera bag. And with a respectable score of 43 out of 50, this is a highly recommended lens so definitely worth having a look at if you are after a super prime lens which is perfect for all types of photography including wildlife and automotive again guys if you want to like comment and subscribe to my channel it really really does help my channel grow also if you want to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest content but until next time guys keep creating <laughs>